All right, guys, so in no shape or form has this fast been easy. I can't believe it. I've, I haven't eaten in over 720 hours, so it is officially 30 days. Now, it's 9.30 p.m. at night, so technically this is my 29th day, but now that it's 9 p.m., that was the last time that I ate on the 10th of May. So it's technically 30 days, but I'm going to keep pushing until tomorrow morning. Right now, I have, I have some chamomile lavender tea I'm gonna have before I go to sleep. And in no shape or form was today easy. Today was actually probably my roughest day for like the last 12 days. It's been pretty bad only because I was very lightheaded today. And I think a lot of it has to do with I woke up extremely early today and I, whoops, I haven't been drinking enough water. So I think it was just a mixture of all those things. So I had to squeeze like three limes and get the juice. And that gave me energy because I ordered from Whole Foods. I really hate that store. And they brought me spoiled coconuts. When I needed that most, I didn't have it. So today was pretty rough. I stayed in bed all day but it was mainly i had a lot of migraines and headaches today and i was very lightheaded when i got up but once i took the key limes i was much better it helped calm my head my stomach so i think i just needed the calories but i feel much better i can't believe i did this i think it'll more so hit me in the morning so i think i'm just gonna drink this tea and get ready for bed and i'll see you guys in the morning <laughs> crazy this is really crazy you guys you guys you guys you guys you guys you guys <sighs> I'm flustered I just came up the stairs I literally like almost damn near ran up the steps it is officially 30 days and 10 hours since the last time I ate this has been a world wind of emotions a world one of just everything I can't even believe like this is real, I'm so excited to eat. Let me just show you guys my size. I'll have my measurements. I'll probably go over that with you guys shortly, but let me just show you guys my size now. So I put the same outfit on as day two, just so you guys can get like a visual of how small I've got. So, girl pretty much lost her whole butt, so I'm not happy about that. I will definitely be back in the gym. So I'm gonna weigh myself right now with you guys. Currently coming in at 122 pounds. In total, as of now, I've lost 16 pounds. And I'm just going to read you guys my measurements from when I started the fast compared to today. So around my navel, which is my measurement around my belly button, across my navel, I started off at 30 inches. I'm now at 27.5 inches. Two and a half inches lost around my tummy. Around my waist, I've always had a, a small waist, but it did kind of grow a little bit over this past couple months. So over that, it was 27 and a half. It's now 24.5 inches. So I lost a total of three inches on my waist. My butt is pretty much non-existent now. So it started at 39. It now comes in at 37, so I lost two inches. My left thigh started at 22 inches, now comes in at 20.5. My arm started at 11.5, it is now 10.5, so an inch loss. As you guys can see, my skin looks very healthy, very glowy. I am a bit lightheaded today. I don't think my body has enough fat to do such a prolonged fast because it actually got harder towards like day 28 till now so I think my body was just like all right girl it's time to eat this fast for me wasn't necessarily about weight loss it was actually a spiritual fast for me but I know that some people may want to you know do this for weight loss or whatever the case may be but 
this was more spiritual based for me and like it feels so good to be done and I'm so excited to eat. But at the same time, um, there's been so many beautiful things that have happened this month. I fasted on everything. I fasted on TV, music, people, just like a whole bunch of things I fasted on. And like this experience has been very eye opening and it's actually really put a put an interesting thought of how I view food in my head despite being so spiritual and knowing the great effects of eating so clean. But that's for another video. But I'm just really excited. And if you guys are doing this, I'm supporting you. Obviously, I'm not a doctor, okay? So definitely check with your physician, your holistic doctor, whoever, because that's important. I'm probably going to have like a reflection 30 day video just saying, Pretty much everything I went through, my tips, my tricks, just everything. But that will be on my main channel. So if you don't follow my main channel, definitely check out I am Linda Elaine. That is my main YouTube. But if you enjoyed these daily vlogs with me, I really hope they helped. Definitely give it a thumbs up. Share them with your friends for encouragement. I really hope they help you on this journey because when I was looking, I didn't really have much to go by. A lot of people stopped it like... Day 20, day 21, so. All right, I gotta eat, y'all. I'm like slowly depleting myself from talking and all of this. So, I'll be back maybe later today, and if I'm not, I love you guys. You got this, you are strong, you are important, and you are loved. So positive light and blessings. We did it, and yeah. Stay tuned for the 30 day revelation update video. Bye.